right hey guys um today i'm just going to show you a quick little tip using the ableton gate uh, effect and the sidechain feature within that that's basically like a reverse sidechain compressor effect so it will only let the sound in when say the kick hits as opposed to the compressor which would drop the sound down when the kick hits all right, so I've just made a couple of little beat variations. Cue. All right, so I've just got a sample here. DJ so I'm just going to do some quick manipulation on this sample. Just going to warp it. Just gonna take a section, do Command L to loop, and then right click, crop the sample. Gonna stretch it out, uh, change the uh, warping algorithm. I like this texture, grain size high, and maybe drop the pitch a little. Let's have a listen. <laughs> As well. All right, so I'm gonna grab this gate, drop it on the sample, and so the gate works. It'll only let a sound through above a certain threshold. So let's start to drop the threshold. It starts to let the sound through. What you can do is click on this little arrow, it brings up the sidechain section, click sidechain, audio from the hip hop kit, and within that, it's going to go to the bass drum pre effects. So now, when I hit this beat off, it's only going to let the sound through when the kick drum hits. <laughs> start to mess with uh, the effects, uh, the parameters within the gate. The hold function will set how long it actually holds the sample when it comes through. So you can turn that up and maybe build it up towards the end of the bar. Like so. and start to automate all these in your arrangement view and start to get you know, a bit of a song happening from there you can add effects and go from there but um, I'll have to show you that another time all right. uh, cool I hope you dig this cheers